Hello, today, for today's video. <laughs> uh, hi! I'm snotted on camera, excuse me, I'm really attractive. <laughs> Who let us on the internet without any supervision? Hi guys! So, we made some bad choices. <laughs> okay, so for this week's video, we thought, wouldn't it be fun to try some of the foods that we had in our childhoods, you know? And so, just throughout the late 90s, early 2000s, there was some crazy food going on. I mean, it was ridiculous what we were eating. It was just sugar and processed and yeah. like crazy, but it was also so good. So good, <laughs> like, and like, I had so no good. idea how bad it was. And when we were checking out at the grocery store today, there was this moment of embarrassment almost. I was like, I don't normally eat Actually, this bad. I wasn't, it was funny because I like felt the embarrassment, but also because we're in Los Angeles. It's like yeah, people literally right. don't buy this stuff. But yeah, so we got all of this food um, and we got maybe a little bit more than we should. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a stomach ache by the end of this. <laughs> Speaking of which, which we also realized that we are now semi-adults. At least we have adult bodies. Whoa. We're both lactose intolerant and all of this stuff has dairy in it somehow, pretty much. They're going to try to kill me and I'm gonna say, heck no. Today also <sighs> just happens to be a very special day. Well, not today, today. The day this video comes out, it will be coming out on or after Patrick's birthday. Look at that. So in the future, future me who will exist in this video yes will have now turned 46 <laughs> <laughs> i know i look great <laughs> so be sure to wish him a happy birthday down in the comments spread some love to this old fart let's try some foods well we gotta wash these down so we should do start with our first drink all right, so we have a classic chocolate Nesquik milk. Yeah, and I got a good old Sunny D. I want to try both, but that's going to be disgusting. We'll Holy cow, this has 200% of your necessary uh, vitamin C intake. And then it has 27, 27 sugars. Oh, that's like 100% of the sugars. You just, by the way, just to clarify, and you can throw it up on the screen if we're wrong, I think that the like average amount of sugar that somebody our age and all and our gender and everything is supposed to take is like 36 grams of sugar a day. This stuff is almost an entire day's worth of sugars in anything. And we used to just drink these down like it was no big Those deal. Those were so good God. as a child. I loved Sunny D. I used to drink that all the time. God, I mean on a summer day, it's hot, yes. running around. Oh, this stuff was the best. Cheers. Oh, cheers. That is... Oh, that's really good. I this know. is, it's just so crazy because it's not an orange flavored thing even. It's just, it's Sunny D. That's the flavor. It chemically tastes like Sunny D I more than it does. You. I also haven't drank real milk in like seven years or something. I don't even oh know, like goodness. a long time. I haven't had like real milk in so long because I just drink like soy milk or whatever. This is really good, by the way. I love Sunny D to this day. Sugar oh. is great, guys. That's good. This has that? 37 grams of sugar in it too. Too. Not but enough. That is to be honest. so good. That is like, mm, wow. I eat sweet things from time to time, but like, I never eat anything like this sweet, you know? Yeah. Like, not yeah. really. Like, I feel like I could taste the sugar. So, we decided that when we're going through all of these things, we kind of separated by meals. We're going to start with some throwback breakfasts. Breakfasts. That's a real tongue twister for you. Brec <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Brexits. Brexits. <laughs> <laughs> Some throwback Brexit. Okay, what a better one to start with than Pop Tarts. I... These are like an easy grab oh, and go. God. And they come with two, so it's kind of like oh, you can yes. eat one and then eat another one later. Yeah. I used to put those in the toaster. Get yes. them warm. Yeah, oh. you can totally get them warm. I didn't do that always. Wait, should we just open one? Yeah, we should only share one. That's we have fine. a lot of food to eat today, so I know. Guys, we, we should gotta share. only eat a little bit. We we have a lot. Like, this is ridiculous. Holy crap, I totally forgot that you could fit two of those in here. Yeah, right? Oh, awesome. I'm ready for this. We also got, like, a really good one. <laughs> we got Don't cookies worry, and cream, I mean, which, by oh, the yeah. way, like, there is nothing nutritious about this. This is no. literally a cookie. For breakfast. This it's is not even, like, a protein cookie. It's like, it's just a cookie. Exactly. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, oh my God. God. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, childhood. Mom, is that you? I feel like it's like before school and I'm like a child. So my mom didn't buy a whole lot of these things um, mm. for breakfast and stuff. But when my dad would take us like on a fishing trip or something, we'd 
get the most junkiest of the junk food ever. That was going to be the one time. Those are the times it. I had these. Like I was on a boat mostly eating these. That's so weird how food and our senses can bring back memories so specifically. Like I'll smell something and be like, oh, I time traveled. And with this, it feels the same thing. It's just like this intense totally. feeling of like, oh my God, I'm a child right now. Like yeah. what? I gotta get ready for school. <laughs> <laughs> so this is so funny. Cause like, I've always thought that Pop Tart's biggest enemy was toaster It's strudels. so true. That is kind of like, it was like, it's either you're kind of a Pop Tarts girl or a, or a toaster strudel yeah, girl. Yeah, and I, I've know. never, I've never really had these, but I've always just been a Pop Tart girl. What are you? Are you a Pop Tart or a toaster strudel girl? Oh, I, you guys, I totally forgot to tell you that this sweatshirt is from my junior high. Wow. So this is my eighth grade sweatshirt and it still fits because my mom always said, buy things that are too big for you. And you finally grew into it. <laughs> Didn't Woo! fit then, but now it fits great. Exactly. We got a cook these things. I actually, hold on. How do you cook it? Okay, you put them in a toaster. I guess it's a toaster strudel. That would make fucking sense. God, I'm so dumb. Okay, Austin totally burnt them. Hey, man, don't be mean. Uh, can you just, that, oh, oh God, I almost lost her. That is not like what a toaster strudel is really supposed to look like, but the other side is okay. Yeah, this is fine. Let's give this a whirl. This is really good though. Right? Like that icing they're, is life. They're even better when they're not burnt. Okay, so here's the thing. We decided we had to do throwback cereals because like cereals are like such a part of childhood for me at least. I feel yeah. like, like it's very American that we're super into our sugary cereals. Yeah. But we decided that we're gonna get three different brands because we couldn't decide on like which one yeah. to do is like the best. So first we got Reese's Puffs, Oreo cereal, and Trix. And this just so happened to be the Fruity Shapes are back. These they are the heard ones. our complaints. Yes. Remember when we were doing this video? <laughs> Literally, no, because they used to they used to look like this where they have the fruit shapes, but then they just made them plain balls, and it's like that's yeah. kind of bullshit. Pretty boring. So now they're back. Let's crack into these. All right, so we're starting with tricks. I'm pretty excited about this. We're just gonna use one bowl because I'm not gonna eat a full bowl of cereal every and time. We're using real milk. This is like kind of gross to me. Like I just do not drink real milk. It's so weird. All right, spoon me. I didn't mean it like that. Oh my God. Wow. I just turned nine. Whoa, sorry, I was time traveling back, man. This kind of cereal always makes me think of like watching cartoons as a kid. Like Sunday morning like cartoons. Like watching Looney Tunes. Literally, like Looney Tunes, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. All right, let's do, let's do the Oreos. I did not have this one much as a kid, but it still is only associated with childhood. Total, I mean, yeah. I, it wasn't like the most popular one, but it was a very like, like when I had it, I loved it. I can't believe these are still around. Honestly, I thought they like got rid of them or something. I mean, that's the thing that like, kids, kids like sugar. Oh. Here we go. That's so bad for you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're literally eating cookies and milk. Oh, you got some in your teeth. Oh no! Oh god, gross! Let's go. Uh, can we get a zoom in on no, that? Thank oh my you. God, leave me alone. Now go clean out your teeth, you fool. Mm. <laughs> okay. Time for Reese's. Oh, pies. Reese's. I am so excited about this. That is the business. That is the bee's knees. Wow. That is so good. <laughs> right, I'm gonna that eat the really hell out of that later. That is incredible. It's literally just sugar. Like, yeah. that's all breakfast was. All right, so now we're gonna move on to lunch. <laughs> I don't know a better lunch product to start with than Lunchables, Lunchables themselves. <laughs> and I'm so excited. So I have I have the nacho cheese dip and salsa, which like- That one was so good. I remember as a kid, like that was the best. It's so good. And what's crazy is it literally hasn't changed. Yeah. I was a kid. Like, yeah, it, it looks exactly, exactly the same. same. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have the extra cheesy pizza one where you build your own pizza. God, it's really kind of nuts that like this like processed cheese and chips is like a lunch. I think the biggest thing I'm taking away from this whole experience is we ate like shit. I actually, that's a good question for you. Would you let your kid eat like this? No, because my mom didn't let me eat like this. Like I still mm. ate these things in my childhood, but like right. day to day stuff, never like this. How many pizzas do you have to build? Three pizzas? Wow. Okay, can I try it's my, kind of can I try this? Perfectly processed cheese. That is childhood. Totally. Oh, I miss this shit. That is Freaking good! That is crazy that we got away with that. So they give you two blends of cheese. Look at that. Wait, does it not give you pepperoni? No, this is an extra cheesy one. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this. 
God, that's fucking shit, but I would eat that every day. <laughs> it's literally like a pita bread. It's like mm -hmm. it's like a pita bread with like a tomato spread and yeah. some cheese on top. Which, That'd be the trendy way to sell this. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be saving this one for later. Right. I like it. And now to wash down that disgusting great pizza, Capri Suns. Honey. God, I love Capri Suns. It's such a kid drink because it's a specific amount and it's like a fun thing. Adults aren't gonna buy something you have to like Take out your own straw right? and get in. Oh, to peel off the straw. This is so enjoyable to do, to be honest with you. Do you know the amount of times I have messed up this process? Totally. It's actually really not that easy. Like, I, already... I can't even get it out of the wrapper. Yeah, what? Oh, I'm so ready. We got wild cherry. Oh, product yeah, shot. Right, right, right. 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 All right, not sponsored. Ready? Oh my God. Oh, that is not very good. No, that's really not good. It's, you didn't put near enough sugar in there. <laughs> that's like, it's really kind of watery, but it is, it's like it a, watery. it still like throws it back for me. Like I feel mm -hmm. like I'm in like third grade. Oh, I just had a field trip moment. Yeah. I went to my like third grade field trip where we all got on a bus and then went to some farm. Listen, there's not much to do in Washington, okay? You went to a farm on a field trip? Yeah, some of my huh? friends got to milk a cow. I didn't. Oh my god. That is some yeehaw nonsense. <laughs> oh my god. And now we have your fourth grade lunch starter kit. Uncrustables, string cheese, and gogurt. We got all. Avengers gogurt, actually. Okay, oh okay. look, 21st century. I know. What would be the gogurt of our generation? Dora the Explorer. Oh my god, maybe it was they during did. that time period. That makes SpongeBob. Sense was SpongeBob huge. It was all big. over Gogurt. I gotta take some smaller bites. I'm getting full. I literally like. We have so much more food, you guys. <laughs> it's just like a large sand dollar. You yeah. give that or I'm gonna give this one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna open up this Gogurt. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! Before you open it. Oh, this is a great story. When I was a kid, um, you could do this with a Gogurt, squeeze it, and then it goes upright. So I kept doing that as a kid over and over again, like every day at lunch. So it was like a normal thing. But then one time. I did it and it ripped open. It sprayed all over this girl's white t shirt and she had pink all over it. That's <laughs> awful. I know. You're a terrorist. Oh my god. I was like first grade, dude. Okay. God, what a little punk. That is good. Honestly, this is really good too. I would eat these. What I'm amazed about is how nothing has changed since we were kid. These all taste exactly the same. <laughs> these are good. Oh my god, mm. that took me back to when I was like at most five years old at my babysitter's house. That's where I just transported to. That's oh. crazy. So there's kind of like two types of people. There's like normal people and crazy people. <laughs> um, normal people string their cheese in string cheese and then the crazy people just go in and bite that like right uh, off. Those know. are all serial killers, they're all in jail. Yeah, now. and those people also, just so you know, they squirt ketchup right on top of their fries. They don't put it on the side. Oh my god. God. And they bite directly into ice cream. This is some terrible people. Yeah. Just kidding. If you're one of them, well, you, you're you're the you're the good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have some Danimals. Yeah. Do you remember that? The only spokespeople for that one was Zach and Cody. Right. Win a oh, trip with, with Zach and Cody. The grand prize is a trip to Hollywood. To hang with us. And then we also have pudding. Just normal pudding. I mean, I haven't had pudding in a long time, though. We got some Pringles. Then we got these, like, cheese <gasps> yeah. and cracker dip. That, or you, like, spread the cheese on it. Again, just processed cheese. Totally fake. It's gonna be great. Okay, cool. let's, let's go. Let's crack into these. Yeah. Wow. That's so good. Oh, this does not smell good. <laughs> it's, it's like a smoothie. Holy crap, ma'am. I do not like that. No, not really. But didn't it, did it transport you? Oh, that's fucking gross. <laughs> Oh, and that aftertaste is not great either. That is liquefied chalk with some artificial flavoring. <laughs> wow. That's pretty accurate. All right, we're gonna try these uh, cheese and crackers. Oh, oh this shit my was my shit. That's the interesting thing about this kind of like food for kids and everything. It's fun to do, you know? Like what? they're actually entertaining kids with this. Oh, you know, as a kid, like it was always such a process to like know how much to put on each <gasps> cracker. Yeah, something. you really had to like use math You had math to literally skills. do some math and I was so bad at it. Oh, that is so satisfying. <sighs> Look at that processed fake cheese. Yes. Cheers. Woo! You know what that is? It's elementary baseball games. When I used to go to my baseball games, this, it was a snack we always had. Not, none of it's like actually that bad, but this is something I'm like, I actually don't really like that. Like, <laughs> it's not like oh, that good. I would keep eating that. I mean, I could, but it's not like, if I could choose between this and a more like adult thing, 
I would. That's I think I would. Okay, a good old pudding Ooh. cup. These were these were definitely something that were in my lunches a lot. And do you remember like when you would forget your plastic spoon and you mm. just have to do your best? Yeah. They're like, good luck. Oh my god, that is a throwback. This is a field trip to like a museum. <laughs> it, this gives me specific memories, and I think that's crazy. This is fully a dessert. Mm. You Americans, aren't you just us Americans? Americans. Yes, us Americans. Okay, is that everything with lunch then? I think it's time to move on to dinner. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. We got some really good stuff. We had stuff to start right cooking in. some of it, so we're gonna go take it out of the oven now. We got two things that were very much like dinners in my childhood, like yeah. easy, you throw in the oven. Or just... snack time, or whatever Yeah, was. whatever. So you got bagel bites, and you got pizza rolls. Both the same concept, it's just some kind of miniaturized frozen piece of pizza, essentially. God, these things were good. Mm. You can never go wrong there. Unless you're on a diet. <laughs> that tastes like watching yeah. a TV show at night. Yeah, totally. Just wonderful. I mean, the bread mixed with the tomato wow, and the geez. cheese that just accents it so well. It's all fake. It's just all literally processed in a lab. <laughs> These are good. Which one do you prefer more? So I was Pizza rolls. Uh -huh. So we also decided we needed another drink that was from my childhood, so we decided to get some Kool-Aid. I didn't realize you put in a whole cup of sugar also. All of a sudden it makes so much sense. I kind of looked at it and I thought, wow, this one little packet really gave all that flavor? That's kind of a miracle. And then it looked, I was like, oh, copy that, it's all sugar. So this is cherry. Let's, uh, that is not good. Oh, that is not good. Oh. <laughs> That just tastes like, oh, I hate things like that. That's so like watered down. Oh, oh I no, that's hate terrible. It. I'm not doing that. All right, now we gotta go throw this little baby in the microwave. <laughs> this is a kid cuisine. Do you remember that little penguin? God, where is the penguin? Oh, there he is. Zoom in, zoom in. This is gonna be absolutely disgusting. By the way, I'm kind of bummed because they also make the one that has like the brownie baked into it. That shit slapped. That was, was so it? good. I loved oh, it. It sounded really gross, I'll be honest. It was, but like, and I'm sure I think so now, but yeah. like back then, mm. Okay, right. go cook it. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, I'm not even ready. This looks disgusting. I've never thought about prison food before, but I have this feeling that it's like <laughs> prison food. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the mac and cheese. Yes, let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this delicious mac and cheese. How does that have actually no flavor? Its texture is awful and it literally has no flavor. Like it tastes like a noodle. Like it like it tastes like baby, even... like I would I think baby food. Would taste yeah. Like Let's try some of the corn. Oh. All right, I'm going to try this pudding grams. Okay. Ew. That's terrible. This is terrible too. Don't even try it. <laughs> the corn also doesn't taste like anything. Nope, tastes like nothing. The pudding oh. doesn't taste like anything either. This that chicken just... nugget has like a Film on the bottom. Oh, this is really gross, guys. This is like Fear Factor. Again, it like hardly has any flavor. Have you wow. heard of salt, children? Let's try this pudding real quick. Hold on. What is that supposed to be? I have no idea. I have no idea what that flavor is supposed to be. Nothing. That's not a naturally occurring flavor on the human palate. That was like Food. hot alien blood. Oh, gross. That is sick. I can't believe our parents fed us that. Aside from that, we are now also going to eat some SpaghettiOs. I mean, um, it can't be that bad. It's just noodles and like a tomato sauce. You ready? Oof. Here we go. Oh, okay. No? No. I wouldn't willingly eat that, no. really. But if I had to, it wouldn't yeah, be like the world. Yeah, I could live off that. It, we can like taste the can. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh God, it's like a... Very nice tin flavor. I will say though, that tastes like a pizza sauce. Like it doesn't yeah. taste like a pasta sauce. That's no. like a pizza sauce, the noodles. Not for me. That's so weird. No. Okay, that was all of our dinner. <laughs> dinner. That was our dinner. That's uh, <laughs> This is by the way, our dinner tonight. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> like we didn't eat specifically. God, that's kind of depressing that I just said, well, we're done with dinner. Okay, um, so we're gonna move on to dessert. <laughs> <laughs> we have some sugar wafers, oatmeal cream pies, Krabby Patty gummies and a baby bottle pop. Baby bottle pop. Also, baby I love baby bottle pop. I love you listing all those things and ending with that. It sounds like and a partridge in a pear tree. It's like <laughs> and a baby bottle pop. Let's try out these. Uh, oh my god, these look like they're made of like the dusted Avengers when they all turned <laughs> disintegrated. All right. Put in the one where Spider-Man gets disintegrated. No, it's too sad. No, no, don't do it. Yeah, it's pretty sad, isn't it? It's everywhere. It's like we spilled grandfather's ashes. Here we go. Again. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's so dry. <laughs> um, that's freaking good. It's a perfectly fine treat. But they're really not that good. I mean, like, if I have to be honest, that's really not, like, that good. Oh. I am ready. These were my jam as a child. Oh, give me half of that, half of that. Yeah. Oh, I love these. Oh okay, ready? Yeah. Uh-oh. I just thought of a troublesome memory. What? When I was a kid, we had these for dessert all the time. For our lunches. They were only for our lunches. But I used to sneak them. <gasps> uh, and then I'd hide the wrapper or throw it away or something. And, yeah. Did you ever get caught? I mean, everybody in our family got caught at some point. None of us were that good. I wonder if your mom's gonna watch this and find out. Oh my gosh, she punishes me now. Oh my god! <laughs> You're grounded. Two weeks without your phone. <laughs> Love Dead. your mom. Dead. <laughs> think of chocolate milk. Those go together pretty well. Not really. <laughs> I think these are gross. I know. I already think these are gross. I never actually ate them. I like. I know. Seeing it's them. just fun. It's like playing with miniature food. I'm gonna be like a beauty vlogger really quickly. Guys, can you like see the product shot? <laughs> it's blurry. It's like all blurry. blurry. I'm sure it is. Oh, I don't think I can get to it. Ew! Guys, these are freaking awful. Who let us eat this crap? Yeah, swish out your mouth real quick with- Ew, okay, that was not a good situation. Absolutely never again. I can't believe we have a whole pack of those. We're gonna have to donate those to someone. Baby bottle pop. For those of you who don't know what this is, you pop this off. It's like a sucker. So you lick it. Yeah, and, and then, then you, inside yeah. is just a thing of sugar. So now this is wet, and then you shake it. Oh my god, it's going everywhere. I know. And then you take it out, and it's covered in the sugar, and then that's what you eat. It was just straight up sugar the whole time, kids. First off, what a weird invention. <laughs> Who, like, thought that this was going to be a thing? You literally are, like, sucking on a pacifier. Um, how is it? Eh. I wish it was sour. If this was sour, this would be amazing. I was expecting it to be. Yeah. And now I'm frankly very disappointed. Oh, it says produced with genetic engineering. I'm shocked. I thought, <laughs> this, I thought this all naturally occurred. Guys, we have two more desserts and then we're done. We got freeze pops. Otter pops. He calls them otter pops because that's the brand name he bought because he was a bougie rich kid. I just <laughs> called them freeze pops because we used to get them in a big net. In a net, you caught them in the wild. No, we literally got them like a huge net and they definitely were called like otter pops. We also have push-ups. I would call those push pops. I, but I feel like there's another brand that calls them that or something. This is childhood. I mean, why was this even a thing? Again, they did not need to do that. The design but they, makes it interesting for kids. Oh, I just flung it all over myself. That is just ice, but it's still kind of good. We also put these in the in the freezer like not that long ago, so they're kind of like in between like slushy and- Oh like, my god, frozen. this is summer. Right? Holy shit, girls! Wait, I'm sorry. Do you know sorry, what this guys. what this flavor is called? It's called Little Orphan Orange. <gasps> what? <laughs> How depressing! <laughs> Why is it called that? These are great. Plus, it's like you can eat like six of these, and it's only like 90 calories. What a steal. Can't ever go wrong there. We had to buy a hundred of these, by the way. I'm actually glad we have them. I'm gonna eat them. Wait, okay, what flavors do I have? Ow, I always remember as a kid, like, putting your hand on this and, like, shoving it and it would hurt. Ow, yeah. These are the very, like, creamy. Oh my god. You know, I kind of thought this was just gonna be, like, regular popsicle or something. Very, very creamy. Mine's like a raspberry. It's a pretty good flavor, to be honest. I know. These are good. I think we have a winner on these ones. That's everything. I kind of can't believe we actually ate all of that. <laughs> Thinking about it kind of makes my stomach hurt. Our bodies on the inside are working on overdrive, going like, what <laughs> is he doing? <laughs> Slow down, man. Oh, god. We had really good food as children. And now we all have to watch what we eat and, I like, know. Try to be healthy. What a dump. Yeah, but the amount of sugar we ate as kids, that's that's dangerous. That is so bad. Kind of sugar rush right now. Because uh -huh. I never eat this much sugar in like one sitting. Totally. We just like did a marathon of sugar. I've been training my whole life for this <laughs> moment. <laughs> Well, I hope that brought some memories back to some of you guys. Or or taught a little bit about what Americans let their children eat. <laughs> the thing is, is, we only bought the stuff we could get in a store. We didn't order anything online or get any discontinued yeah. products. So, as we were brainstorming for this video and thinking of some of those things and we couldn't find them, we realized that some of them are gone forever and we just wanted to have a little bit of a moment of silence for some of those great products. In the arms. All the angels fly away from here, fly far away, my little angels, I know the words and the melody to the song, yeah, here we go, and the beat drops.
else. No. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there's any like food products or whatever that we didn't show, like name them down below. I'm sure it's gonna be a throwback for all of us. You know what I'd also love to do, by the way, just cause like we love seeing that yeah. some of you guys live in other countries, all that kind of stuff. It's amazing. I would love to do a video where we tried another country's version. Oh my God, I would love that. We gotta like, we'd have to find the products and everything, yeah. but if any of you live in another country, like wherever, and you guys want us to try to do something like that, let us know and we will, we'll try it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. We really appreciate your support and all your kind comments. We really love it. We love you guys. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and I guess we'll see you guys next week. See you later. Bye. Bye.